Hello everyone, this is Microsoft Solutions, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create the carousel moving effect in Microsoft PowerPoint using the morph transition and some applications of the hyperlink function. In this video, you can expect to learn how to create this kind of animation to make your presentations more engaging and interactive. So, let's get started. Click on the View tab and locate the Slide Master option. Our goal here is to add image placeholders that will allow us to easily insert photos later. Click on Insert Placeholder and choose Picture. Drag the placeholder to your desired size and adjust it according to your preference. Center the placeholder on the slide. Now copy and paste the image placeholder and repeat the process according to the number of pictures you want to include. In this tutorial, I'll be using seven images. Ensure that they are properly aligned and evenly spaced. Now close the slide master view. Moving on, go to the Home tab and click on Layout. Choose the layout we just created. To add pictures, simply click on the image placeholder and select the photo of your choice. So, I'll be adding photos of a burger, Coke, fries, macarons, pizza, and smoothies. After selecting the images, we can proceed to add rectangular shapes of the same size as the photos. These shapes will serve as our guides when moving the photos. Once this step is completed, we will move the shapes upwards. These shapes are intended solely as guides. Following this, group the rectangular shapes into one. Now that we are prepared, we can apply a black and white effect to all the photos. Begin with the first photo, which should be positioned in the center. In this case, it's the burger image. For this initial photo, remove the filter to restore the original color. Once duplicated, proceed to move all the pictures to the left. After achieving proper alignment, reapply the black and white filter to the photo that was previously centered in the last slide and this time remove the applied filter from the photo that is centered in this slide. Next, apply the original filter to the subsequent photo. Continue repeating this process of moving and selecting filters as we progress to the next slides. The underlying logic here is that the photo at the center of the slide retains its color effect, while those not centered utilize the black and white filter. Just continue this process until we reach the last photo. After setting up the images, we can now delete the guides we added earlier. Now it's time to add the ellipse shape by inserting a circle shape and following this process. Next, we will remove the shape outline and change the color to white. Copy this and paste it below. This will serve as an effect to achieve a panoramic effect for the photos and create a curved ellipse effect for the images. Once accomplished, we can copy and paste that onto the next slides. Now, as you can see, we have successfully achieved the panoramic effect for the photos. The next step is to apply the morph transition to all the slides. Make sure to apply this transition to all slides with a timing of 1.25 seconds or adjust according to your preference. This is how it should look, and as you can observe, we have now achieved a carousel effect for these images. We will add some additional designs for the slides. For example, I just added here the text for our menu. For example, this one says burger, and we will just change the text for the next slides. Now it's time to add clickable buttons that allow us to navigate between slides. Now adjust its position accordingly. Next is to apply the hyperlink function to these icons. Right-click on each arrow, then click Link. Ensure you choose the Place in this document option. For the left arrow, select the previous slide 
and for the right-facing arrow, apply the hyperlink function to navigate to the next slide. Now we will simply copy these arrow icons to the next slide. By doing this, we can avoid applying the hyperlink function again and save time. Now, let's add additional information for specific images. To achieve this, duplicate the slide containing the image you want to add information about. Place the duplicate slide right after the last image in the carousel. Adjust the position of the ellipse shape. Move one upwards and the other downwards. Now delete all photos except for the burger image since this is the one we are going to add information about and then make it bigger. After that, we can now insert the desired text. Now return to the original carousel slide where the photo was located. Apply a hyperlink function that jumps to slide 8. Just right-click this image, select Link, choose Place in this document, and click the slide with the information. As you can see, once I click this image, it will go to that information, and once I click this arrow icon, it will go back to the carousel slide effect. Now it's time to add additional information for other images. Repeat the process of duplicating the slide and moving it directly downwards, right after the carousel images. Then move this ellipse downwards and upwards, remove the images that are not related, and keep the image of Coke since this is the photo that we want to add information about and make it bigger. Position it accordingly in the slide, and then add the text and the arrow, of course. Go back to the slide where the photo is originally located and apply the hyperlink to the information slide, which is slide 9. Go back to slide 9, click the arrow, and apply the hyperlink function to go back to slide 2, where the photo is originally located. Now it's time to add some additional information for the next photo, the fries. If you are wondering why we did not delete these ellipse shapes and instead moved them upwards and downwards, it is because this action adds a dynamic and panoramic animation effect when transitioning from the carousel effect slide to the information slide. Take a moment to observe what's happening here. Pay attention to the movement of the ellipse shapes as we navigate. They smoothly morph from slide to slide. Now just repeat the process of adjusting the images by adding the text and the arrow icon. Go back to slide 3, which contains the original photo, and apply the hyperlink function to slide 10, which contains the information about the fries. Go back to slide 10 and add a hyperlink function that will go back to slide 3, which contains the original photo location of the fries. Here is the progress for that. You can just repeat the process until you reach the last slide or the last images. To fast forward this tutorial, I have already finished setting up the information. And here's the final output for this tutorial, which is the carousel effect animation in Microsoft PowerPoint using the morph transition and the hyperlink function. That's basically it. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. If you have any questions or clarifications, just comment down below. Again, this is Microsoft Solutions, and thank you for watching.